What's up to YouTube? It's uh, Justin here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to bake open your headlights to do retrofits or uh, other modifications. My car is a 03 Elantra, Hyundai Elantra GLS 5 speed. Um, it's pretty much the same for a lot of other cars, the same process, but uh, what you want to do is take off. Now I had some caps on mine. I go over like this. You want to take those off. You want to take the bulbs out before we put those in the oven. Um, other than that, you should be alright. I uh, already did this other one that I had the other side. I had to go to the junkyard to get the other side because I don't want to do mine that are on my car right now. I've, I've done this before, but I'd rather not take any chances. Um, so, I went ahead and did the same procedure I'm about to show you guys with uh, this headlight here, and, and you can see it's really hazy. Uh, I've seen worse. I've fixed worse. But, what you want to do is you can wet sand those. I'll go over that in a few minutes. Um, now, the bezel that's in here is like a, a light gray color, and um, what I did with the other one is... I wanted to see how it looks, so I went ahead and sprayed this one gloss black. It's just some cheap 96 cent Walmart special gloss black. And I've done much higher end stuff in the past, but this build is just kind of a cheap build that I wanted to look good for a year or two. So basically, there's a reflector on here that goes on the side, and there's a a lens that goes over it. Now this lens here, I, ha I plan on using uh, VHT nightshades to tint them just a little bit, just to um, give it a little bit of contrast. And um, this one here, I already took the reflector out of the low beam. I plan on doing uh, a um, retrofit. Probably going to go with either some $90 eBay low beam projectors or maybe some um, the retrofit source. More Moto minis or something, something simple that I can just uh, screw on the back of. You know, I don't really want to go too crazy. I might put some demon eyes inside and uh, maybe halo rings or something cool like that. But still waiting for my oven to preheat, so I'll, I'll go over wet sanding the lenses. Like this one, I just picked up today from the junkyard. Um, it's not terrible, but it's pretty. It's pretty hazy, and you can see here. It's got some haze to it. Um, what I plan on doing is uh, using the wet sanding technique. And you can go out and spend, you know, 20 or 30, 40 dollars on them kits. And they do the job, but uh, I find it much easier and, and better to, um, to use some good old wet or dry sandpaper. Um, just did my dad's Jeep. His were pretty hazy. Um, I used uh, 1,000 grit and went in one motion, and uh, I spent about five to ten minutes on each light, and um, then I went ahead and went to uh, stage I, the second stage, which was um, 2,000 grit, just to, in the opposite direction, just to get all the fine scratches out of it, and um, that actually worked really well. I mean, I, I'm not I'm not no pro or anything like that. It's just kind of what I've used a number of times in the past and it's worked well for me and um, afterwards you go over with like a variable speed orbital buffer and with some um, I just use car turtle wax or whatever kind of wax you guys have car wax and go over go over it and give it a good buff job and uh, they usually come out really good and there's some high-end sealants and stuff like that you can use um, I know some people who afterwards hit them with um, a, some uh, high gloss clear coat and it works just fine I mean but um I'm probably just gonna wet sand them and buff them but uh still waiting oven's preheated now uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and I use uh, I use a cookie sheet and I like to put a dish rag in there. Some people might say, hey, you know, that's that's kind of scary, but I've done it a number of times and I haven't had any issues. So, 
But I, I just like to put the dish rag in there so it's not sitting, the plastic isn't sitting on bare metal in the, um, in the cookie sheet. So I'm just going to go ahead and pause this for a second and pop the headlight in the oven. And I'll be right back. All right, now you can see the headlight in there. I went with a, just took out the top rack that I had in here and um, stuck it in. I like to, to do 225 minutes for about uh, about eight to 10 minutes. And I find that it just, it pops open like butter. You know, there's no real, real effort into it. And um, I'm gonna pause it again and Check back with you guys in about 10 minutes. Alright guys, it's been in there for about uh, 10 minutes. I just let it cool down for a minute or two before you can touch it. Um, I'm going to have these tabs. I already started popping them open. This one kind of broke a little bit, but that's alright. I can fix that. And you'll see these other ones here. You just kind of Alright guys, I uh, went ahead and skipped the part of pulling it apart, but um, I'm not trying to do this myself and do it one-handed, so it's kind of hard. You're going to have these tabs when these two pieces are in, two pieces are together, and you're going to want to peel back the top, and you're going to have a tab here, you're going to have a tab here, a tab here, and a tab on the side. And then there's going to be a couple on the bottom as well. Now, I'm just going to pull this apart. It's stuck. You're going to have uh, tabs there, there, and there on the bottom. And now um, there's like a little slot here on the side that it sticks through. It's not a tab, so. What you have to do is um, go ahead and do it from the inside first. Peel it apart from the inside. I just go ahead and peel this back and then I just basically just kind of manhandle it and pull it apart. And um, about 10, 10 minutes, 10, 12 minutes, I probably wouldn't put it in there any longer. I mean, you probably could, but it's safe with about 10 minutes or so in there. And it really just does just peel right apart, like, with not much effort at all. I mean, I literally, it was like 10 seconds and I had it out. Um, now, on this here, like I showed you guys on the one that I already taken apart, you have the back reflector and you have the um, lens, plastic lens there, and you have the bezel, and you can see this bezel is, is kind of gray and kind of ugly. I mean, you can paint it any other color, any color you want. I mean, I've done some before where body match paint, and I've done a, a few of these before, so pretty much possibilities are endless once you start opening up headlights and uh, modifying them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take out all the screws around here that hold the bezel and the reflector apart and then I'm going to show you you guys right here this is the low beam projector if you're going to do retrofits it's a low beam reflector I should say and um, on the back here you're going to have this piece right here this piece right here is the reflector that goes down it's just a one screw and then you just undo that screw, and the reflector is going to come out from the front. So I'll do those steps, and then I will uh, show you once I'm done. Okay, so I went ahead and I took the screws out. I had uh, one on the bottom there, bottom left. I had uh, one on the bottom right. Um, and then one up here in the corner for the plastic bezel. And then... Um, over on the reflector and the blinker parking light side, I had uh, just one that was that was here, and then 
one up top here. So that's just going to come right out just like that. And this piece here. comes right out as well and then a little bit of effort here we go the plastic bezel comes out now you can see this one is gray put the ones over here this one is gray it's pretty pretty boring looking um, a lot of the times cars come with their chrome or black, some of them black or whatever, but um, this side I already went and painted, like I said, I used the cheap Walmart black paint, 97 cents, high gloss, I mean some people are going to say, hey, you know, don't do that, you got to use high temp paint, you know, or whatever, but I've done it in the past and it hasn't, I haven't had any problems with it before. So, this is what it looks like stock. This is what it looks like. Nice shiny black. Um, but you can use high, you can use like high temp paint if you want to, you know, just be safe. Um, like I said, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to tint these with a little bit of VHD nightshades. Um, and as for the uh, reflector, there's just one screw in the back there on the bottom. Holding it in, and I just pulled it out from the top. Uh, now, whenever you uh, are done doing whatever you want to do, and you want to, you want to make sure everything is, everything is spotless. I mean, you want to pull, you can pull off all that glue, or you can reheat it and attempt to reuse it. But I'm probably just gonna order some, um, some new uh, butyl glue from uh, the retrofitsource.com just to be safe that way there is no moisture or anything like that in there and once you're done doing your retrofit and everything you're gonna wanna make sure everything is is uh, clean you know I'm gonna probably wash this stuff with dish soap and give it a wipe with uh, an alcohol rag just to make sure everything's clean before I paint it and stuff like that eventually I'll have a uh, second step to this video in the near future I just gotta save up some money and get the uh, projectors and everything once everything comes in then I'll uh, make the second step alright guys